folks, welcome back to the Are We There Yet channel. Today we're coming again from the 2022 Ford F-150 FX4. And I got another tutorial video for you today. I bet you noticed that it's cold out there. It's getting chilly. Fall is definitely in the air. And what's a person to do when they get cold? Since we're coming from summer... And maybe some of you have never uh, had to learn this skill because you live near the equator or somewhere in Africa where it never gets cold. Well, today's skill, we're going to learn how to put on a jacket. We're going to put on jackets today. If you already know how to put on a jacket, we're going to maybe uh, tighten up your jacket putting on game. And maybe you'll learn a couple new skills here. So today, stay tuned. We're going to go to a special location and I'm going to show you how to keep warm. This is a lifelong skill that you're going to learn and be able to use for the rest of your life. So let's cut to the tutorial. So as I mentioned in the Ford F-150 earlier, today's tutorial is going to be how to put on a jacket. With fall here, the weather's getting a little cooler, winter is on the way. Some of you may have forgotten how to actually put a jacket on. It's been a long, hot summer, and so maybe you don't remember how to do it. Or maybe, maybe you never actually ever learned. Maybe you lived in Ecuador, and now you live in New York. Or maybe you lived in the Sudan, and maybe now you live in Nepal. And suddenly, this is a skill you're going to need to know. Or maybe you're just a little rusty and you're here to pick up a few tips to get back on track with your jacket wearing. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn what makes a jacket. We're going to learn the history of the jacket. We're going to learn a couple techniques for putting on jackets and maybe some do's and don'ts. So sit back and relax, and let's learn a thing or two. Glad you're here for the ride. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the history of the jacket. So, a very quick internet search reveals uh, that the jacket was invented in 10,556 or 57 BC by a Neanderthal man called Uzuku. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Uzuku. So it's not clear, the pronunciation may be a little off, so all you history buffs don't, don't you know, destroy me in the comments. But Uzuku, right, Neanderthal is a dead language, so we're, we're, we're really trying to recreate it. Um, he got cold one day and he created a garment that had sleeves and, and buttoned in the front. We know this from the, the cave art that we found that was created by the Neanderthals of the time. So Izuku, so being cold, he invented this jacket made out of wolf skin, made out of rabbit fur. It's a little difficult to tell from the cave art. Um, so we are going to talk about the first way to put on the jacket. So when we put on a jacket, we hold it up, so the sleeves are hanging down. You see how the sleeves are hanging down? Okay, we're going to take our right hand, right hand, and we're going to put it through the right sleeve. Boom. You see how that happened? Let me do it again. Okay, right hand through the right sleeve. You see how the coat is now up on my shoulder? I'm going to pull the coat all the way up on my other shoulder. Sometimes it's a little difficult. And I shoot the other hand through. That way happened a little fast, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I have the coat and the sleeve, the left hand sleeve on my other shoulder. I'm gonna put my hand through the other sleeve like that. You see how it went through? So now I actually have the coat on. So if it's only slightly chilly, you can wear your coat like this with it open in the front. See how it's open in the front? If you wear it so it's open in the front, maybe uh, you get a little uh, airflow through the jacket. 
Now, if you're really cold, right, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you. You put the zipper right there, you put the zipper in there and you, you pull up on the zipper and it closes. Now you see how the, 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 the zipper is closed? The zipper moves up and down fluidly. If it's not moving fluidly, it might mean that you have an old zipper, maybe it needs to be replaced or maybe um, it just needs to be uh, oiled. So then if you're really cold and you have a hoodie, you can actually put the hood up. You see how the hood is up? Now it protects you from the side. So that is how you put on a jacket. So now that we have the jacket on, that method of putting the jacket on is called the right hand slide. The kids today, they call it the right hand slide, but the real historical name, that is the Baltic method. The Baltic method, which apparently originated in the Baltics because the people in the Baltics really know jackets and they've been doing this for a long time. So they are like up on the top of the mountain when it comes to jacket wearing and, and jacket putting on proudness. So the Baltic method. Now we're going to go into a lesser known uh, method of putting on your jacket that maybe you want to not consider doing it. And if you found yourself, if you're a jacket wearing person already and you found yourself doing this, uh, maybe you should reconsider whether or not you want to do this. All right. So the next method is, well, let me take this jacket off. Notice how I didn't show you how to take the jacket off. I'm going to save that for another informational video taking your jacket off. Today's video, we're just gonna really make sure we focus on getting that jacket on. Okay, so the next method, okay, is the left-handed method. The left-handed method, which was banished uh, in early Christianity. Uh, it was only meant for deviants and people who were outlaws. The left-handed method is also called the devil's slide-in. So if you're doing the devil's slide in and you didn't know how uh, it's considered to be uncouth, maybe you really better think about doing the Baltic method. So practice this. So I'm going to show it to you. And uh, for, for viewers that are a little more sensitive, maybe you want to look away. Okay. So the, the devil's slide, you start with your left hand and you put it through the left sleeve and watch it go through and now the hand is out. So it's actually the mirror opposite of the other way. So then we put it up on our shoulder and we sling it across. Now, if you have a hoodie, you can grab the hoodie and it really helps. And then see this hand, jazz hands, jazz hands, right? We put it through the other sleeve and it comes through. Now from that point, it doesn't matter how you have your jacket on, whether you did the devil's slide or the Baltic method, we still, we still Feed the zipper in there and we slide it and we have, we have the jacket on. So now as falls here, you're warm and toasty. If you have a jacket with buttons, when you get it to the point where you have the jacket open, okay, you can simply put the button through the button hole all the way down till it's buttoned up. That's why they, they call it buttoned up. So for today, I'm gonna leave my jacket open. It's kind of free, you know, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm a little more athletic. So now that we learned a couple methods for putting on a jacket, and please remember sweatshirts are not jackets. All right, your jacket will open in the front. So don't let anybody call a sweatshirt a jacket. A sweater is not a jacket, it's a sweater. So now that we have our jackets on, I want you to practice on your own. I want you to practice both methods so you'll have either at your disposal. And let me just say this, guys, if you're going out on a date, try the devil's slide. All right. You know how women like the bad boys. I think you're going to like the result. So as always, thank you for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe. 
please hit the like notification button. It helps the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in, uh, in the, the section below. I'll be happy to respond. If there's a, another tutorial that you'd like me to do, um, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Stay warm. So here's a bonus tip for you. This is the one where you put on a jacket and you have long sleeves on and the sleeve pushes your jacket up and it's all bunched up in the elbow, right? So you put the jacket on using the techniques that we learned, right? And all of a sudden your long sleeves are bunched up in, in and your, 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 your sleeve for, for your shirt is just like that. What do we do? Your bonus tip is right now. It's called, it's called shooting the cuff. Shooting the cuff. All right, so we have our jacket here. Right, we're gonna put it on in the ball tick method, right? So instead of just shoving, instead of just shoving your hand into the sleeve, right, where it's gonna get all bunched up, right? We are going to grab a hold of the sleeve. And when you grab the sleeve and then you push it through like so, boom, it comes through and it does not get bunched up. We do that with the other side. We grab the sleeve, okay? Grab the sleeve and we push it through and here it is, boom, okay? That's called shooting the cuff. So for all you people who have been annoyed in the past because their, their sleeves of their long sleeve shirt get bunched up, shoot the cuff and you'll be all right.